Okay, Nintendo Switch and Pokemon fans, there's lots of good news today, as a new game has just dropped and more Pokemon goodness is on the way later this year. It's May 30th, and along with the game Pokemon Quest, which hit today, there are revelations that there will also be Pokemon-specific controllers for the Switch in the form of the Pokeball that until now was just a thing you swiped on your phone to catch it. The new controller, called the Pokeball Plus, will debut as an option when two new games, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, drop in November. The Pokeball Plus Plus has a small joystick, but is also packing sensors for motion control, so you can throw it at your Pokemon target of choice. Yes, a wrist strap is included, and we recommend using it. It also vibrates and lights up. No word on the price yet, but really, is that going to be a deal breaker for this much fun? We doubt it. Check out the details and Pokemon Quest gameplay at the link. Remember when the tech world thought the notch at the top of the Apple iPhone X was the biggest mistake since, I don't know, the Apple Newton? Well, it seems like other phone makers missed that memo, especially Motorola. Our friends over at Android Headlines claim this is the new Motorola One Power. Yes, that's the actual name. I guess Turbo is out of fashion now. And not only does it look like an iPhone X from the front, it's pretty darn close to it on the back as well. We're sure Tim and Johnny are flattered by all this Android imitation. Android Headlines says the image was shared with them by a, quote, reliable source. The phone apparently also brings back the Motorola name in front. Full. Previous phones were just Moto, like the Moto X4 seen here, and so on. So, what gives the One Power its power? Details are apparently still a bit scarce, but clearly there is a dual camera setup, the now mandatory minimal bezelness, and the notch. We don't know if the power notch will house a facial ID system or what, as there's also a fingerprint reader on the back, or if this image is indeed legit. But we bet it is. Hit the link for all the details that are known so far. Amazon.com has made shopping and getting stuff so easy, it's made founder and CEO Jeff Bezos the richest man in history. But it's also filled our homes and lives with all of that Amazon stuff, usually delivered in a couple of days after we click the buy button on the sprawling website. But we wanted to know just how does Amazon make it all happen? DT Home Editor Kim Wetzel and photographer Dan Baker went behind the scenes at an Amazon Fulfillment Center in Kent, Washington to see how the sausage is made. And it was an eye-opening experience to be sure. Amazon uses a mix of busy automated robots, miles of conveyor belts, package slides, and for now, human workers to quickly pick, box up, and label your toothpaste, caffeinated soap, or big screen TV. And to think the Kent facility is just one of about 150 such centers around the world. Not bad for a company that started out shipping books out of a garage. Hit the link to see exactly how your Amazon stuff gets to you. And that'll do it for DT Daily Today. Head on over to digitaltrends.com for all the latest tech news. And of course, check out our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.